teach you, say, why is it that the message don't go out in these great big places, these big crusades like amongst the denominations? It's not their food. It's not the church so-called food. It's the bride food. It's spiritual food in season. It would make them sick at their stomach. It's too rich for them. See? See? You, you, you can't do it. But for the children, it's bread. It's life. It's Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. We're going to get too late if we don't start the prayer line now, so let us bow our heads just a moment. Dear God, food in due season, spiritual food, something that the world knows nothing of. How we hear our Lord say that night or that day down there at Samaria, the same place that Elisha walked up and said, while the dew will not fall till I call for it. Here stood Jesus there telling his disciples, said, Master, why don't you eat? He said, I have food that you know not of. Truly, Lord, his food was to do the will of God, to see the works of God the made manifest in his hour. He was there to see that it was done. I do nothing except my Father shows me first. What the Father shows me, that I do. And, Father, so is it today. The church, the true believer, the body of believers has access to food, spiritual food, that the nominals know nothing about. The world knows nothing of this food, Father. But your church, your people, the bride of your Son loves it. We have access to healing of our bodies when the doctors has failed. We have access to this. It's one of the foods of God that He gave to His church and promised it in the last days to His believing children. Father, help us to be believing children. For all things are possible to the believers. Granted, dear God, we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.